previous camps as well. Uh, at one point, we were down to one person, Coxian, the prostitute, and we've built up from there back to what we have now. Uh, we've stabilized a little bit, uh, but we just had some trouble with a uh, poison ship that landed. Oh, yeah, and we have to... Uh, Christ, we're going to have to come out and pick this up. That's, of course, um, Epico's sword. Uh, Epico is a, is, a, is a good melee brawler that we're going to try to get some armor for and, and build up into something better, hopefully. I want to marry Coxine and break her murder streak through hot, hot loving. Nice. Check the history tab. Yeah, we can see there's definitely been a couple of instances where things have gone down uh, hill quickly, right? Like we had like this gradual rise and then boom, we just completely bottomed out. I think this is when we left the first, uh, the first place. And then we probably this other dip here or maybe here is when we left the second place and a couple of people died. Um, and then we had another, we had a couple of, um, uh, we had a bit of drama here, apparently, um, leading into day 50, where I think a bunch of people died. I think this is what, this was the Great Depression, I think. Must have been, or was it here, potentially? I don't know, but there was at one point, uh, where we were kind of a little bit built up and things were going well, and then, uh, I think it was Penny. Drop Bear died. That sent Penny into like a into like a downward spiral where she went on a murdering rampage and killed about three or four people. I think at this point here potentially. No, I, I don't know actually. Was it here? I think this would have been where we had like one person left for a while and then slowly built back up. Maybe lost a couple of people along the way. So it's been nuts. It has been really nuts, and uh, and we're only just sort of recovering now. We have to make sure that everybody is allowed to go where they need to go. So Tooth as well. Tooth is uh, is has been resurrected as well. He died. Uh, he died during the great uh, poison crash ship battle of whatever year it is, and um, and we brought him back. He fought valiantly, so he deserved to be brought back. So he is back. So we're we're back to full force here. Uh, we just got to go pick up Epico's sword if it hasn't been picked up yet. Got to get rid of these bow and arrows as well because they're in storage. We're going to put this as important so that the bow and arrows don't get stuck in our storage area. I did not kill anyone. You did, though. Is Coxian so old now she gives gummers? <laughs> uh, what a pleasant thought. She is 33 years old. So, no, not quite. I don't think at the age of 33 you're quite... You're quite at the stage of giving gummers, but you never know. Uh, we miss this pirate merchant as well. Major break on Red Morgan, who is still going through uh, alcohol addiction withdrawal, uh, as at 72%. So we'll have a couple more tantrums from her. Uh, but hopefully we can get this chocolate. Mm. Store this chocolate, and then people can eat some chocolate and feel better after eating some chocolate. Be pretty nice, too. Uh, okay, so for kibble, let's say we go back to just normal meat and stuff as well. Uh, so we want all meat, not just the uh, insect meat. We have a couple of potatoes, and now that things are normalizing again, we can go out and hunt this warg, and then we can kill all the rest of the stuff too. So once we've got um, Rossi and Oham up, we'll bring them out here with the doggos, and they can kill this warg. So that it doesn't start to kill other people, right? We'll get them out here and kill it. Oh, we had an infestation yesterday, too, that we fought off, which is pretty good. Oh, there's two wargs now. All right, nice. Okay, let's bring them out here. Their dogs. With their dogs and their guns and their guns and their dogs. Okay, we'll hunt one at a time. Um, so let's get Rossi on this and let's also get Oham on this. Uh, Rossi? Rossi, what are you doing? Why? You were meant to hunt this, this warg. Oh my god, you hit Oham. She's gonna die in seven hours. How did this go so horribly wrong? Run, Oham! Run! Don't... Don't die! 
Rossi hit it. Uh, we got an Ibex Ram that has self-tamed. Okay. And we're gonna have to come out here and kill this Lynx as well. Alright, well this has just gone horribly wrong. Holy crap. Um, we're gonna have to get um, Hinge out here very quickly. Can you... Can you... The dog's not... Okay, can the... Can you get your dogs to, to fucking fight these things or what? Yeah, good. Okay, nice. Alright. Oh, God. Okay, Rossi. You're gonna have to, um... You're gonna have to patch up since you're out here. You're gonna have to get her patched up because she's gonna die on the way back, right? We'll chuck down a bed straight away. Oh, yeah, we're gonna have to do this too, right? Alright, oh him. We're gonna rescue you and tend to you. You're gonna die in three hours. It's gonna be pretty tough actually. You're bleeding out. We don't want you to die here. Uh, strip feed training prioritize training trip. Wash Oham and feed Oham. How come you can't um Rest until healed. Already tending. Oh, okay. You're already tending. Perfect. Okay, let's see. Two hours. Can we get you patched up? Five hours? Okay, Rossi has saved the day here big time. Seven hours. All right. Good. Hinge is here now, too. Okay. Okay. Never mind. Hinge is here now to, to help save the day. Okay, Ohem, back you go. We'll get your gun in here too. Rossi, that is crazy. That was crazy. Uh, he missed so many shots too. Red Morgan is in a daze. That's fine. Okay, Coxian, let's get this chain shotgun back home. And then let's also make sure that this um, is not a home area. We don't want people coming out here to clean and stuff. It's not required. Okay, one warg is dead and one still remains. And there's a timber wolf as well. Uh, this lynx can be hunted, and uh, probably the timber wolf as well. So we'll get Rossi out to do that. Oh, hang on a second. Oh, Ham, where are you? I'm gonna have to rest until healed, baby. Okay, good. Oh, man. It's tough, isn't it? It's tough when you have to fight. When you have to fight bad guys out there all the time. But have a nice rest. Feel better. 20 degrees inside the medical ward. We'll have to get a TV and stuff in there, right? Home area at that place to put down the emergency bed. Yeah, I know. We got it. Could you name the ram after me and my terrier legacy? No, the ram is just going to be slaughtered and uh, cut up into meat. It's going to have to be, right? It's going to have to be cut up into meat. Um, how are we doing for living accommodations and stuff. We're not too bad. People seem to be more or less happy. Oh, Oham is doing a sad wander now as well. I guess it was, um, it was probably food, mood. Right shoulder has been bitten off. Oham's right shoulder is missing, so we're gonna have to replace, gonna have to make her bionic if we can. If we can get some bionics, we'll make her bionic. That's because Sips makes up for it by cleaning, cleanly shearing his balls. It's true, actually, yeah. People are going to other people's toilets? That should not be happening. Oh my god. It is happening, though. Can we, like, can we multi-link beds? If I hold shift? No, we can't. Oh my lord. What a mess. Look, these toilets are, are so fucked up. Holy crap. They're all over the damn place. Okay, that's better. That one we can't even link to anything. This because there's like three beds in there. Possibly, I don't know. Okay, we got to sort out this crafting area, which we're kind of working on now. 
We still have a little bit of work left to do. Red Morgan is being hunted by a timber wolf. Red Morgan currently is where exactly? Red Morgan, where are you? Wandering around out here in a daze. Red Morgan might get killed by this timber wolf. We're going to have to get Rossi out here. I think it's... I think Red Morgan might die here. Okay, Hinge, we're going to get you out here too. Come on, Rossi. Come on, Rossi. All right, what is what is this mod that gets rid of this fucking bullshit slowdown stuff? It, it it's driving me crazy. Does anybody know the name of it? I hate it. I I fucking hate how the game slows down when something's about to happen. Like, I don't mind that he goes turbo mode and kills Red Morgan, but I don't want to sit around and watch somebody in real time run from the base out here to this idiot who's dazed and about to die. No force slowdown. All right. I'm going to install this right away because fuck me, it's driving me nuts. <clears throat> no force slowdown. Okay. You should just be able to disable it in the options, right? No, no force slowdown. No force slowdown. No force slowdown. Nice. By Dingo. This is the one. Oh, yeah, this is nice. No force slowdown. Description. Tweaks the forced uh, one time speed multiplier, which triggers on some events. RimWorld automatically slows down gameplay and prevents some time controls when certain events fire. With this mod, you can take back control. It's a configurable mod options that let you tweak the slowdown mechanic. Okay, I'm going to subscribe to this. The bigger stack mod is great. You get the sidearms mod as well. I don't want to really introduce the sidearms mod into this playthrough, though. Like, We'll try to keep it as it is and then maybe introduce it into the next one. But this this slowdown thing is, is actively driving me nuts, though. And then increase stack mod. Yeah, we can get that next time as well. Let's just go with this one for now and see. Okay, so mods, no force slowdown. Mods is che equals cheating equals sinning. How about the mood bar color mod? Yeah, we'll get that one too. Would be nice if you could have a firearm and a melee weapon at the same time. There's the mod for that. That's what people are talking about. Be a good one. Okay, so we'll load up the nomadic bad boys, but we'll uh, load anyway with this uh, no force slowdown, right? And hopefully it doesn't just like corrupt the save and crash the game. Quickly to Reddit, he's cheating. Call the cheating police. Okay, so. Oh my god. Okay, so it's going to be a close one, and we might just be able to do it. Uh, sleeping spot, medical, lock the door. How long does she have left to live? Three hours. Um, okay, is tending already. Oh, this is going to be a close one. Two hours left. Three hours. Three hours. Red Morgan died. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh, my God. Oh, give me fucking strength. Give me fucking strength. Hey, Red Morgan, you're not coming back. You are, you are well and truly dead. What a waste of time you were. Total waste of time with uh, being an alcoholic and stuff. I don't even know why we bothered getting you in the first place with your alcoholic, with your alcoholism withdrawal. You spent the whole time in a daze, uh, and then you spent most of your, uh, the end of your life, or close to the end of your life, in a daze out of the base. So serves you right. Good riddance to bad rubbish. You sucked. Big time. Really, really, really bad. Just a terrible colonist. Just one of the worst. Okay, we'll go back here and see if we can uh, sell some stuff or buy some stuff. Uh, there's some panthers that we can buy. You think panthers are going to be better than huskies? They're a bit more expensive. I can't really afford them. 
There's a bionic arm here that I can't afford either. We need to start making some drugs so that we can sell them, right? DED dead. This didn't start well. Well, you know what? It's uh, it's a it's it it's a crying shame, isn't it? It is just a crying shame. What is this? This is granite. Okay, let's switch this over so that we can make some granite sarcophagi. So that at least we can get some of this stuff done, right? Oh, look at Tooth is Tooth is back alive, no problem. He's feeling fine. He's got his winter clothes on, no drugs. So we're gonna try to bury um, Red Morgan here. <clears throat> we're not gonna we're not going to res Red Morgan. Who's having a major break? Oham is. Oham, where are you? Okay, and we got rid of this home zone, right? <laughs> There's no other like random home zones out here. No, okay good perfect Good, okay, so pirate merchants are pretty good if we have money, but we just don't have any money right now It's a blessing in disguise. Yeah, the um, the drug and alcohol withdrawal is uh, is pretty insane, isn't it? It's just nuts. All right. Oh ham You're gonna have to equip your chain shotgun again and then go back to bed go rest up until you're fully healed in the meantime, we'll get, um, we'll get What's-Her-Face buried. She's already buried. Did we already bury her? Rigel? No? Where's her body go? Did you drop it, like, down here or something? It hasn't been incinerated, right? Oh, it's in here, okay. Red Morgan, the inventor, is dead. That's a shame because Red Morgan was actually had some skills at like crafting and stuff, but I guess we're just gonna have to get other people on it instead. Poor you, poor Rigel, yeah. Is the res mechanic a mod? No, it's not. It's uh, it's sometimes every once in a while you get a quest and you can get it's called a resurrector mech serum. Um, you get quests to you know like invade somewhere and you get it as a reward or whatever. It's random, but you could just stockpile them. You could have a couple, and then you can res people. We had one, and we used it on Tooth, who died during a um, poison ship, poison ship landing. Okay, so nobody's eating these packaged survival meals, so that means that we're in even better shape to go out, because we actually wanted to go out and do this, right? It's patch leather. Okay, wildlife. We're going to have to go out and kill this predator, this warg, wherever he is, down at the bottom of the map here. Okay, maybe we don't actually, because he's quite far away. I mean, he'll probably move, but at least we go out and kill some bucks. We'll go kill some bucks and does, and then we'll do the caribou's. We need to get this patch leather together, right? Um, we've got a refugee being chased. A hive world drone named Belle calls us from nearby. She's being chased by tribes people from the Trogo of the Inlet. Three archers, a hunter, and two warriors. Okay, let's offer safety. She's really close by. We can get everybody to stay indoors, including her. What's she good at? And who is this going to be? Red Morgan. <laughs> no, Oham, you're not dead. Slavrar. Okay, Slavrar, you're in. Uh, good at construction. Uh, not bad at shooting as well. Okay, this, this could work, actually. More people that are, are better at um, shooting. This is a female member of the Nomadic Bad Boys, age 24. Nice. Okay, so let's see what you can do. We can get you onto not wardening, not handling. Uh, we don't need you on cooking. Hunting? Sure. Uh, let's get you on construction as well, since you're good at it. Mining? Not required, and then let's get you on hauling and cleaning and stuff as well. Okay, nine constructions, pretty good. All right, I don't even think we need to react to this because these traps are just gonna do all the work here. Yeah. Okay, that's that raid done. <laughs> I fucking love. It. I fucking love that. That's so good, isn't it? Okay, we'll pick up all this stuff. Get to work. Nice. Okay. Welcome aboard. Who's this? Melee. Shooting melee artistic. Okay. Okay, let's capture this guy. Oh, you don't have to restrict everybody anymore either. Okay, and... 
let's give you the stuff here to recreation good okay is epico's sword back yeah it is okay epico go pick up your sword when you're ready we'll rearm the traps who's having a major break here now mr Gepetu. mr Gepetu has no health conditions or anything is just miserable oh because of being depressive okay Mr. Jep Mr. Jepitu is a depressive sort of chap. People at school used to bully me for being artistic. At least I think that's what they were saying. <laughs> right, artistic brawler. Slavrar, we might have to team up together to seduce all the men and dominate this colony. Okay, sure. I read it, Gendermancer. It's too late. You're too late. Too late. I, I read it already. What are we putting here? Marble. So we lack marble. So we have to go pick up some more. Okay, and our hunter should be out there hunting. I'm hoping that we have enough time left to do um, this this quest. Because it was a pretty good one, wasn't it? We have a medical emergency here. In Melee, who's... Um, oh, okay. He's been tended, that's why. Okay, so in here we would like to have some furniture. And let's have a shelf here. Where can I put this shelf? There's not really much room for it. Okay, that's going to be for medicine. Okay, and here we're going to want to have some heal root because we're running low on medicine. Cargo pods. Oh my god, look at all this kibble that just landed and all of these, all this wildlife has just gone in, beeline for it and, and tried to eat it. Okay, Oham has inspired trade as well. Nice. What's the difference between Rimworld and Prison Architect? Um, Rimworld, you manage a colony. Um, and Prison Architect, you manage a prison. So it's, uh, they're a little bit different. There's definitely some differences. Not much, though. Okay, we're so close to making these uh, patch leathers. We're, we're almost there. We can almost send the boys out to do it. Is this still going? Is this still available to us for a couple more days? 6.5 days to deliver 1,780 patch leather. 6.5 days. Okay. Epico. We don't have the material, so we still need to do some hunting. Hopefully Oham can get out there and help with this. I think if we do this last bit of hunting, we should be good, right? Is Oham out here? Oh yeah, she's out here hunting. Actively hunting. Oh, hauling as well, though. Okay, that's kind of weird, Oham. You shouldn't be hauling ahead of hunting. You've got everything that you need for hunting. Same with Rossi. Mr. Jepitu. <laughs> and Slavrar now can do some hunting, too. Okay, sewage sludge composting is done. Um, all right, so let's get into, um, what, like, uh, psychite refining stuff. We, we need to start manufacturing drugs, but locking them down as well so that we can um, not have people binge on them, but we can sell them to all these pirate merchants that come by, right? Build up some of our wealth. We need some, some wealths. We need to kill some animals so that we can get the rest of this patch leather done and we can get this caravan on its way. Beer is good money. Yeah, beer is good money, you're right. But we'd have to grow all the stuff and everything too, right? Take a little while to do. We have 20 herbal medicines left. We blasted through a lot of the herbal medicine. Okay, Coxian. Let's get you butchering these things so that we can get this leather. And we might actually have enough to send this caravan with these last bits of leather, right? I'm just gonna make it some kibble. Who else is cooking? Okay, where are you, Coxian? Oh, he's going to butcher this animal too. Nice. 
Okay, so patch leather, I think. 1,740. One thousand seven hundred and forty. We need one thousand seven hundred and sixty, I believe. So your base front entrance is still open. The last door sides could be cornered off to keep the warmth inside. Yeah, I know. We can we can do it. The last time we put doors, though, they we need to double up the walls because last time we put doors, they just um, barged in from the side here, which wasn't the best. So we'll see. Is that the patch leather done? 1,790. We have 1,790. And we need 1,780. We got 5.7 days. Alright, let's get this caravan together. So we have bonkas that we can take as well. Uh, we will send over um, Rossi. Let's send Rossi. Let's send, uh, where's Oham? Oham can stay, actually. We'll send Rossi, oh no, let's send Rossi and Oham, it should be fine, and then everybody else can stay. We have people that can defend the base, should be fine. Okay, so Bonkaz is gonna go, and then we need to send this patch leather with them too, right? So patch leather, we need to send uh, all of it, we'll send it all. That's great. Um, we'll choose our route, which is here. It's going to take us 4.9 days to get there. Holy crap. That's a long way. Days of food. So if I take this package survival meal, it doesn't give me any more food? Oh, because they can't eat it. So we'd have to make it so that they can eat it again, right? Um, okay, so we go into restrict, sorry, assign, edit, and then we say for meals that they can have package survival meals now. Right, and then we go here, we go to form the caravan. Uh, it's funny that they won't eat it, right? Okay, so we send Rossi and Oham out with Bonkas. Bonkas can go too. And then we're gonna take, we're gonna choose this route again. We're cutting it really fine here, but it should be fine. So package survival meals. We'd have 5.6 days of food with all this. So we need more. It's a really long way away. Holy crap. Unless we buy some off of them while we're there for the trip back, which we might end up doing. So we're going to take uh, not only all this patch leather, but we're going to have to take some stuff that we can sell as well to make some money, which I don't think uh, we're going to be able to. We can sell these bows, I suppose. It's not worth it though, they're worth like nothing, right? There's a cloth jacket, excellent, that we could sell for 11 bucks. All of this stuff has gone bad. Uh, we could take all this fecal sludge and try to sell it. We'll take these, um, these two bedrolls with us as well. Uh, let's take a little bit of medicine with us too, just in case. Um, we're going to take all of this patch leather. Um, there's some muffalo wool here that we could potentially sell for food. And we got a little bit of cloth as well. Okay, we'll take all of this muffalo wool and sell it and see if we can get enough food for the way back. We have 5.6 days of food and the estimated days to arrive is 5.6. And I think this thing... Um... Are we going to make it in time? You can eat the insect jelly. It's good travel food as it never goes bad. Really? Really? I think we got restrictions on it as well. When how 5.7 days left and it's going to take us 5.6 days to get there. <sighs> I think we're going to miss it, you know. I think we're going to miss it. Okay, so hang on a second. Raw food, animal products, insect jelly. World, is there a quicker way to get here? 5.7 days. Form the caravan. Tell them to rest at night so they forage more. It's going to take us longer to get here, though. Okay, so Oham and Rossi choose the route. 4.7 days. And then if we take Bonkas with us as well, it'll take us less time. 
I guess we want to take the dogs with us too. We'll take all the dogs with us. That might cut down on the time. And then... The insect jelly does not give us a lot of food. The packaged survival meals now give us less food as well. Oh, this is because we're taking the dogs with us too, right? What if we take like some rice with us? 4.7. So it's good. We're going to arrive there much quicker. Should we just take all of these potatoes as well? Because the meat will go bad, right? Take Terry. It'll only increase it to 64 days. Take some raw meat for the dog. I suppose we could take kibble though, right? If we take kibble... So if I take all this kibble with us, it should be fine. And what, like a bit of a bit of uh, meat? So what, like just some hair meat? Kibble. Take raw meat for the dogs. It'll go bad though, right? Okay, so we're gonna sell this muffalo wool. We're gonna take all this patch leather. Uh, we're gonna take some bed rolls for these guys too. So it's gonna take us 4.9 days to get there, and we only have 3.7 days of food. Can you sell fecal sludge instead of burning it? I don't think so, no. It's winter, isn't it? So this kibble doesn't seem to um, take into account the, the food that we'll have left, right? I'm super early today, I know, yeah. Is it just, is that just like a bug or something? Or like, will the, will the dogs eat the kibble? I need more patch leather. No, I don't, I have just enough. I've got, I've got just enough patch leather. It's fine, we got all the patch leather that we need. It's approximate. You could take basic meals for two days of food as well. Five point three days of food. Okay, let's take all this and see how it goes. So it's gonna take us five days to get there, and we should have just enough time left over if we don't get um, stuck with anything else, right? Do we want to take a bit of herbal medicine? Rossi can patch us up if we need to. He's not very good, but it's fine. Okay, are we good? We're sending everybody out here. It's gonna take us five days. You need a, you need 1,810 leather. No, it's not, we don't. It was 1,780. And I have 1,790. Yeah. I don't think the kibble did anything. No, it didn't. Uh, but we're gonna take it anyway to feed it to the dogs, right? Maybe leave one of the dogs. I think it's going to be too tight. I think we need the dogs. What if I take one less person? No. Okay. So we're going to go like this. It's going to take us five days. We've got the food that we need. We've got some um, muffalo wool that we can sell for more food if we need it. Um, and then we can make them stop at night and forage for more food if they need to. But we'll, uh, we don't know. 1.7 berries per day. We'll have to see. How long am I streaming for? A couple of hours? You think leave one of the dogs? What, leave Trip? We can leave one of the dogs. Okay, if we're going to leave a dog, let's leave uh, Botsero. Because Botsero is actually pregnant. I mean, so is Trip, actually. But if we leave if we leave two of the dogs behind, we're good for food, and it's gonna take us 5.1 days. Okay, so let's leave the, the two pregnant dogs behind. We'll take Captain Uzo and Josie. 5.1 days. Okay, let's go. Alright, you guys gotta go quick. We don't we have we don't have a lot of time here. Get all the stuff ready and go quickly. We gotta make up some time as well. Is there any way that we can say don't stop to sleep at night or whatever so that we can make better time? I don't think we're gonna make it somehow. Well, even if we don't make it for the thing, which would suck, but it would be great if we did. But even if we don't make it, we'll just sell all the patch leather and the muffalo wool while we're there and make some money at least. And maybe we can buy some more stuff. Oh my god, guys. They fall they've fallen asleep. We're gonna miss it now. They're not gonna go until the next day. Look, there. Come on. Rise and shine, campers. I know. The whore is pregnant. I know. Come on, Rossi and Ohem. You guys gotta get going. Look. 
The caravan's ready to go. Come on. Rise and shine. It's the dawn of a new day. Get out of here, quick. We're counting on you guys. We want this cool stuff. They gotta pack up all the patch leather. It's gonna take them forever. And then they gotta get underway, quickly. They gotta grab all this food and stuff, and they have to have a bit of a chat about it. Okay. It looks like they're on their way. Perfect. Okay, that's all our hunters gone. We got Rossi is about to have a major break as well. You'll have to have a breakdown on the road. You've got to be joking me. You have got to be fucking kidding me. What is wrong with this fucking idiot? Seriously. We're, 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 we gotta get going. I think the caravan is is doomed before it even leaves because Rossi is too fucking stupid to pull this off. Way to go, Rossi. Well done. It really fucked us over there. Oh. Uh, you can't just leave him behind. The caravan's formed and ready to go, for Christ's sake. We got five days. Oh, my God. All this patch leather for nothing. We're never going to make it on time. Look, they can't leave until he's ready to go. And he's in a daze as well, which is going to probably last for a couple of days. Okay, fuck this caravan. We're just going to cancel it. Oh, it's just canceled itself because of that. I don't think it, it can even happen now. So does that mean all this stuff is going to be returned? Where are the muffalos and stuff? Can I cancel it now? But there's a button on him to remove from caravan. Oh, it's too late. Alright, well, we'll send Ohem alone and see what happens. Oh, fuck me, this game can just suck on my dick so hard, for fuck's sake. Man, it took us forever to get that shit together. And we had that stupid fucking poison ship land in the middle of it as well. And we were so close to actually doing something worthwhile for once. And then, of course, fucking numbnuts and his stupid fucking needs. Look at this list of debuffs, too. What a fucking idiot. Jesus Christ. He's, he gets upset because he's slept on the ground while he's packing up a caravan. What the fuck? Sleep in your fucking bed. Like, why would you sleep on the fucking ground when you have a bed? It's so stupid. Ugh. Rossi has collapsed due to extreme exhaustion. Great. Good job, Rossi. Rossi decides to fucking get knocked down out here in the middle of nowhere. Oh, at least he's actually in his room, sleeping on the ground again. Alright. Well, we'll see. This is on its way. Caravan meeting. We could trade. Or move on. Let's just move on. We don't have time. 4.4 days. How far out are we? Estimate time to destination 4.1 days, and this is 4.3 days. Okay, we might actually get there on time. It's going to be really close, but Oham might be able to pull this off. We got a whole bunch of huskies that have joined as well by the looks of it. Which... Okay, so who are these huskies that we have here? We got... Three new huskies that have joined that we're gonna have to train up. And then we got Terry here as well. Okay, so who wants to be a husky? We have a lot of huskies. We've got three new huskies. Das Put. Okay, Das Put, you can have one. 
Um, who wants this one here? Edon, Edon, Edon Ponia. You've got it. And who's this last one? Carnation. Who wants to be Carnation? Creech. Okay, Creech, you got it. All right. We need some kibble. We need more cooks. We need more people who can cook. Psychite refining is done. Let's do beer brewing next. We can make a big brewery, which could be nice. So we can sell beer for money. We can become the premier beer brewers of the galaxy if we play our cards right. All right, let's see how this is doing. So 3.9 days to get here, and we got 4.1 days. It'll go a bit faster once they hit the road, right? It's just, it's just like this off-road portion of it. Once they're on the road, it might go faster, right? We'll have to see. What happened to the last game? Still going. This is the same one. Or do you mean the other one where we were building the ship? If you mean the other game where we were building the ship, uh, we built the ship and launched in that game. It worked out pretty good. Road is double speed. Oh, I like this night traveling. This is really good. It's okay. 3.7 days, 3.9. All right. It's going to be a t it's going to be a tough one. 3.7, 3.9. Are they going to stop at night? 3.6, 3.8. Okay, travel all night you have to. The caravan might actually make it. The cooking area is finally indoors. Yeah, so this is now the, these doors are done. This cooking area is now indoors. It's a little bit better. So I'll have to move the comms console indoors as well. Okay, well, move, let's move this butcher table up here for now. We can put some sterile tiles down around the kitchen once we can afford it, and we should be fine, right? What are we doing with this melee guy, actually? We need to start reducing his resistance. Oh, actually, what's his bio? 12 artistic. We could use an, uh, an artistic person, right? We don't have anybody who's like that great at, at art. So he could be like a, our artist. Okay, we'll start reducing his resistance. I mean, we're already, like, supporting him and feeding him and stuff, so we might as well. Okay, so in here we want this to be um, clear all. And we want this to be manufactured medicine, herbal medicine. Should I follow Sips on Twitter? Yeah. I would say yeah. Okay, uh, 3.2 days at 3.4. Holy crap. Okay, if there's no slowdowns on the way, they might just make it with, like, a couple of hours to spare. We might actually get this stuff. Rossi is here as well, isn't he? Okay, we have to be careful because there is a bear out there and an arctic fox. So let's go after the arctic fox first. And then we're going to have to go after the bear, too. Tooth hasn't picked back up his gun. Tooth was using a pump shotgun, but maybe somebody else has taken it. Okay, we're going to have to get him a new pump shotgun. He's going to need to have a new one. Where is this bear at? He's way out here, but people are going to start heading out there to pick up blocks and stuff. So we're going to have to get rid of this thing. Where's Rossi at? He's shooting this fox. Okay, we've got a visitor too. Oh. Okay, 2.9 days, 3.1. Whew! 
<laughs> we might just do it. Despite Rossi almost fucking us over. We might do it. Okay, beer brewing is done. Uh, let's get into Devil Strand as well. Because that's another thing that we can make money off, right? We can make some... We can make some uh, red parkas. Okay, there's a mad doe coming. Alright, everybody. Get indoors quick. A mad doe approaches. Oh god, Kermraid. Quickly. Get in. Nice. Okay, good. Man, you gotta hate a mad doe. The mad doe is dead, though. So it's fine. We might get it. My caravan has 4.8 hours of spare time. 2.7 days. 2.9. Nice. 4.8 hours of spare time. That's insane. Okay, so has this kept my bills? Yeah, it has. Okay, nice. Who's having a major break? Uh, Mr. Jupitu. Mr. Jupitu is uh, depressive, unfortunately. So it's going to be harder to keep him uh, without breaking. We might just launch him in a pod to live alone. We're gonna we're going to exile him. Once we get pod launchers built, we'll launch him into the mountains, and he can just become a hermit, live by himself, and have as many tantrums as he wants. Are they locked in the base? No, no, they're allowed out again. The animals are though. Creech. All right, so Botsero and Trip are both assigned to Rossi. Um. And they're both pregnant as well. So Creech will give to... Who can we give Creech to? Maybe we can start giving some to Epico. But actually, we'll just send Rossi out. With, like, more and more dogs, right? Hinge has inspired creativity. It's nice. Um, did we finish up all of these sculptures? No, because we still don't have the stuff that we need, right? There's this guy here that wants to trade, but I don't know. There's no point. I can make that frown upside down just step into my office, Mr. Jepedu. I don't mind the lack of red light. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Coxian is offering to turn your frown upside down, Mr. Jepedu. Do you want to... Do you want to take him up on that or not really? Not, you're not overly interested? Mr. Jepedu. It's minus 22 outside. It's minus 22. Okay, we've got a Warg and we got a Grizzly out here. So I think we should take Rossi out here with all of his dogs, fight the Grizzly, and then we'll take out the Warg after that, right? They're both in this area where people are going to start coming soon. So we're going to hunt this. Before it mauls people. Where are the dogs going? So Rossi's dogs should be following him when he's hunting. Alright, that's the bear down. So we just have to come back out and do the work. Yeah, his dogs are meant to be following him when he's hunting, but they're not. The blue light and the purple light. Tooth has hypothermia. Okay, I guess Tooth just doesn't have a parka. Interesting. Tooth looks to be completely naked. We don't need to make any more patch leather either. I forgot that we had that on. We never finished it, so we've actually made a whole bunch of extra patch leather that we haven't needed. Okay, Tooth, warm up a little bit. Okay, Tooth, you're, we're gonna have to restrict you to the safe area for now while you have no clothes. How come you don't have any clothes on, 
He's like, he's not wearing a single goddamn thing. I guess we just ran out of clothes. We're gonna have to make him some clothes quick. Okay. 1.8 days. Two days. The caravan still chugs along. Without Rossi as well. Mr. Drippetu is on an insulting spree. Tooth is getting insulted for not wearing any clothes. And Joey is now being insulted for even daring to make him clothes. Mr. Drippetu is like some sort of fucking barrier to Tooth being clothed. He's not having it. He's just not having it. Alright, Joey, where are you at? You're asleep. Kermraid, can you call Gaston? The Gaston Consortium? They've got some arctic wolves and some polar bears. Man, I bet you polar bears would be good, right? If we could start breeding some polar bears instead of muffalos, because then we can use them to attack and haul and stuff too. Polar bears? Buy some polar bears. Your colony got attacked by 15 polar bears. They'd be so tanky. Imagine the rugs that we can make with them. Well, we'd have to get a... Uh, we'd need to get a female polar bear. So we'd have to... Uh, they're expensive too, like I don't even think I can afford this polar bear. I'd have to sell some of my components, I guess. I don't have enough money here. I mean, if we if we sell this uh, human for 716 bucks... Yeah! Okay. Let's sell Melee, the sculptor. Okay. Make some money, and then we can buy a 11-year-old male polar bear. Okay, this seems like a great deal to me. Let's do it. Nice. Okay, who wants to be this polar bear? This is gonna be awesome, by the way. Holy shit. All right, polar bear. We're gonna get you all trained up and everything. All right, who wants to be mittens? All right, mittens, you're back in. Okay, let's make sure that you're obedient. Let's train you in hauling, release, and rescue as well. Ed, for the time being, Mittens, let's put you in the muff zone until all of this stuff is trained up. Terry the Tortoise is now assigned to Epico. Whose room is this? Who sleeps in this bed? Is this one Rossi? It is Rossi. Okay, Terry, you can either be assigned to Rossi or Slavrar. Or Epico. Okay. Turns out Epico is the one that he wants to be. Epico is now in charge of Terry. Okay. Mittens uh, can go into the muff zone. Terry's in the Terry zone. Uh, Edon the husky is uh, bonded to Epico, apparently. Uh, but we're trying to, like, unbond. And now we've got Daspoot as well, who can go with uh, Rossi for now as well. Okay, good. So... Botsero and Trip are in the safe zone. So actually, we'll just have them in the... Yeah, safe zone. Have you in the safe zone. Creech in the safe zone as well. Terry's fine where he is. Edon, we're still uh, training. And Mittens, the polar bear, we're going to start training as well. So we'll leave you there too. Okay, good. Pirate Merchant... That was fantastic. Okay, we now have... So we just need a female polar bear so that we can make a polar bear army. We're gonna need... Fire starting spree on tooth. Get in there, Artafi. Oh my god. Tooth, why did I res you? Tooth, I, I, re I bitterly regret resing you now. That you've almost burnt down my whole kitchen. What a, what a huge waste. Okay, how are we doing here? 1.4 days, 1.6 days. We're still on track. We're still on track. It's gonna happen soon. Very soon. Okay, Tooth now has a Tooth at least. So we can almost let Tooth go back out. Okay, so that's another spare tooth in case somebody wants one. Looks like Rossi's gonna take it. Nice. Okay, so in terms of wildlife out here, we still have a warg that needs to be destroyed too, right? So we're gonna send Rossi out. He's ready to go. He can bring his animals with him. 
will take down this warg who is now actively hunting. It's hungry. Okay, there's an exotic goods trader as well. <laughs> Look at all these fucking degenerate pigs, right? The worst. Okay, let's line up a, a decent shot here on this guy. We'll hit him from over here. Okay, he's been hit. Yeah, nice. Fucking Rossi, man. The best. Okay, Rossi will never do hauling, though. Okay, so that's the Warg Revenge. Uh, we have an exotic goods trader. I don't think we actually have anything to sell, but let's just try anyway. So this is uh, Nikolay. What has he got? He wants to buy our polar bear for half price. Components and advanced components. Plasteel. Gold. We have nothing to sell. We really have to start making some stuff. They have an iguana and a chinchilla for sale. Some neutral mean as well. Can make some proper medicine soon. Okay, good. All right. So in terms of wildlife now, that's all the predators gone. So we can get back to just slaying caribou, wild boar, just everything. Rossi, just get out there and do it. Okay, these guys are almost there. Estimated time one day, and this is 1.2 days. We're good. We're. It looks like. I don't want to jinx it, but it looks like we're just gonna make it. Devil Strand is done. Um, cocoa? Do we want cocoa? We can't grow trees inside though, right? So there's probably not much point. We're not going to be able to build a tree, an indoor tree farm, right? So we'll go like wake up production, I guess, as well. That chinchilla could have been delicious. Could have been, yeah. Coulda, woulda, shoulda, but, but, but was not. Okay. Who needs a, a ranged weapon? Slavrar does. We don't have any ranged weapons available. We smelted them all down. That's fine though, we can figure it out. Alright, Mittens. We've got some kibble. Terry's got his kibble. Edon and Mittens have their kibble as well. I'm gonna have to make some more kibble. We've got a potato harvest coming very soon. So we'll be able to make some more kibble. We could really do with having another chef, actually. So we traded in somebody who was potentially going to be good at art. Yeah, that's fine. Guys? Okay, that was pretty bad. Luckily, luckily we survived. Okay, Tooth is now able to be assigned. I guess they just like couldn't get in on time. <laughs> God damn. Luckily we had all those dogs, eh? Holy shit. Rossi, uh, <laughs> Rossi just kited them through. We got rubber here. Okay, so where are you at, Hinge? We get so many pirate merchants, we can just sell these people for money, right? Keep them alive and sell them for money? How long does this guy have left to live? Not long, it turns out. <laughs> oh no! Do we get the debuff because she died as a temporary prisoner? No, oh, that sucks. Oh no. We got five beers here as well. I don't think we have an alcoholic on the team though right now. So I think if like... Everybody drinks one beer. It should be fine. Hopefully. Have all these been tended to? All the dogs? Tail has been shot off. Botsero's tail has been shot off. Okay, Hinge, you gotta get to work on these dogs, right? Poor dogs have been hit. Hit hard. Okay. 0 0.4 days. 0 0.6. They're almost there. Tomorrow morning, they'll be there. And then we have to trade all that stuff and trade for food and stuff, and then hopefully we're good. 
you love me in every podcast episode that guy don thanks so much appreciate it man thanks it's nice of you nice of you to say thanks for listening to the podcast as well we like doing it it's good fun okay has the caravan resumed oh it has oh guys 0 0.4 days 0 0.1 who's got a disease rob xd has one on his right shoulder oh fuck he hasn't been tended to that's why okay rossi we don't need you on doctoring anymore pal because we've got two good doctors okay rob xd okay button down shirt is done ho oh, oh. ho Oh, I can't believe it! I can't believe it! Okay, Rob, are you gonna survive? 9% immunity. Yeah, I think you'll be fine, actually. I think you'll make it through. Maybe just. Okay, the caravan has arrived. What? Where's all the patch leather? Where did all the patch leather go? Why did we only arrive with 1,634 patch leather? What the fuck? Oh, uh, They can't eat patch leather? Why did we lose some? Rossi had some! Oh my fucking god! This game cannot be for real! How does this happen? That is so, such fucking bullshit. Oh, that is so fucking stupid. So you remove them from the caravan and they don't fulfill the rest of the needs of the caravan? How fucking codes this shit? Maybe I can buy some patch leather. They don't have any. They don't have any to sell. I did bring enough, yeah. But apparently, Rossi, who was removed from the caravan, had some on him <laughs> I mean so he stayed at home with like 200 patch leather so we made all that fucking patch leather and it's like worthless as well look it's worth fucking jack shit oh my god can use dev mode to give it to the caravan and then remove it from your colony. At least we can crack open a cold one with the boys. I don't even know how to use dev mode. I'd be tempted to do it though. Because that, that is such bullshit. I mean, that is just such bullshit. Do I have drop pods yet? No, I do not. Oh, this is so much better than Game of Thrones Season 8. I don't know how to use dev mode, though. Rossi had his revenge for being kicked out of the caravan. Maybe that guy couldn't carry anymore. No, we had the whole... They were all here. I mean... They packed everything up. They packed everything up. We still have a couple of packaged survival meals left. Well, I mean, I guess we could just buy some more meals to go back with. Do these, they have anything else that we can use? Man, it's got a masterwork chain shotgun here. 
and a good sniper rifle. Oh, God, these guys don't really have anything that great, you know? They got a normal marine helmet. We should have been coming back with an excellent one. Fox fur. You need to move them to an adjacent hex and then load the map, then enable it in the options. I don't know what that means. You literally, you might as well just be speaking Swahili right now. I don't understand a word of that. The patch leather is worth 1650 if I sell it. Saves come to before I left. It's in commitment mode. I don't think we can do that. I don't think we can do that. Go to the settings, then there's a checkbox for dev mode. Oh my god. So what I do, so what do I do? I, I enable dev mode and then what? I just give my caravan the 200 patch leather that should have been with it all along and, and wasn't? Move the caravan next to the town. It's there. Load the map so you can see the colonists. Then dev mode in the options. Man, that just sounds like a lot of work. I think we just, like, roll with the punches. Let's we'll just roll with the punches. Fuck me, I'm not enabling dev mode and doing all that garbage. We'll just, like, know better next time, I guess. I mean, we could still buy a, a, a normal marine helmet while we're here. We'll have some money for selling all this stuff. 0 0.2 days to fulfill. You have no time to move. That's true, yeah. Go back home and punch Rossi. We won't have the time. Just buy a heap of dubs and smoke it off. Gonna have to, I guess. Alright, so if we sell all this stuff for 2,535 bucks... Um, and then we buy the marine helmet. We could buy, there's, they've got a whole bunch of normal marine helmets here. Um, days of food, 3.3. .3. How long is it going to take us to get back? Another like five days or whatever. So we need to buy some more um, food. Lavish meals. Simple meals. We have to buy some meals. Psychic Soothe, Psychic Insanity, Psychic Animal Pulsar, Prosthetic Arm. We could probably make that ourselves. Going back will be quicker because you don't haul all of the patch leather. Oh yeah, that's true actually. So maybe we don't actually need these meals. 3.3. Let's just r like round it to 4 and then we should be fine, right? So we're going to sell all this stuff. And what are we going to take back with us? There's a Masterwork Chain Shotgun here for 951 bucks. Let's buy that. And then what? Should we buy some Marine Helmets for our two, our two soldiery hunter types? So this will give leave us with 317 bucks. Two Marine Helmets and a Masterwork Chain Shotgun. They don't have like any other good stuff here, right? They don't have like any cool like serums or anything like that. They've got some Yorkshire Terriers. EMP grenades. EMP grenades could be pretty good actually. For uh, mechs and stuff, right? Buy a new Rossi, mine's broken, and medicine. I can make medicine. Bionic arm. It's a prosthetic arm. 231 bucks. I can make one pretty soon though, so it should be fine. Parkas and stuff, we good. I think we'll go with this. This is all stuff that's harder to make, right? So we can just trade for it. There's a minigun here as well. Good sniper rifle for Rossi, but we want to get charge guns, right? Rossi should be banished as punishment. Man, that feels so fucking bad, doesn't it? Exile Rossi to the abandoned settlement? I don't know if you can do that. There's another chain shotgun. What, another masterwork? Chain shotgun. Okay, we'll go with this. 
we'll go with this and we'll come back with 317 bucks, right? Okay. Fine. God, that feels so bad, doesn't it? We were so close, guys. Jesus Christ. Um, okay, so we enter Hell on Earth 2.0. Days of food, 4.1. Estimated time to de destination, 2.1 days. Yeah, it's a lot quicker going back, isn't it? It's only going to take us two days. It took us five days to get out there with all that patch leather. Fuck me. That's crazy, isn't it? Okay, so everybody is unrestricted now. How are these animals doing? It's all right. We'll get it next time, boys. We'll have to try to try our best to get it next time. Okay, Edon is being trained still, and Mittens is still being trained as well. It's not been assigned. Mittens hasn't been assigned to anybody. And in terms of wildlife, there's a lynx back in the fold, and then we'll kill all of this stuff as well. We want to kill the lynx first, as a priority, before it starts attacking people. Okay, good. The lynx is dead. Okay, now there's nothing else to really worry about. Okay, the dogs are healing and mending and feeling better. We have a potato harvest coming up. We have um, some cool... A uh, cool new gun for uh, Oham and some marine helmets coming back for the boys, so that'll be pretty good. So we just have to say, um, so what's this? Restrict, assign, clear forest. Epico is wearing the shield belt, isn't he? So managed outfit. So we want a new outfit, and we're going to call this one uh, win win Winter Soldier, okay? So Winter Soldier, we want to wear a parka, uh, all this stuff, but headgear, we just want them to wear a marine helmet, right? Because it has the insulation and stuff as well. And then we can adjust this to have marine armor when we have the marine armor too. So we'll have them wear all the normal stuff. Parka. So actually, we don't want them to wear a flak jacket. They could wear flak pants though for now. We don't want them to wear a duster. Uh, we want them to wear a parka. Shield belt, smoke pop belt, tribal wear, we don't want them to wear. Pants, they don't want them to wear a jacket. But the flak vest we can make for them, right? And then they can wear a t-shirt, shield belt, plate armor, parka. Actually, plate armor we don't want them to wear either because it'll be too cold, right? Okay, so that's Winter Soldier. Alright, so when we get back with these marine helmets, we'll change it change um, Rossi and Ohem over to Winter Soldiers. And then we'll have Summer Soldiers as well, right? We're gonna need it. A gimp suit, yeah. Are you okay in the infirmary? Yeah, you're fine. You've lost a couple of bits and pieces to uh, Frostbite, but your infection immunity is um, way ahead of the actual um, infection, so you should you should be fine. Okay, we're gonna need some more animal beds too. So we'll get plain leather animal beds. It's mostly Rossi that's got. So we'll make these like the hunting lodges, right? For all of our hunters and soldiers and stuff. These two here, so Rossi and Ohan. Then we'll have to move Mr. Gepetu in as well because he's kind of a hunter. And then maybe Epico as well. Basically people who have uh, animals assigned to them. Don't forget the bionic arms for winter soldiers. Yeah, I know. We're going to make all of our soldiers uh, as bionic as possible. Epico will start making bionic too. All right. This floor is finally done in here. So we can um, we can actually start moving all of our crafting and stuff into this area here. We're going to make this a uh, crafting room. Okay, so power, we're going to need some power in here as well. Okay, so we'll run this power up here. How are we doing for like, steel we've got a, a bit of. Components, we've got 29 still. 
perfect. And then we need to start really making some weapons and stuff. So this go juice and this beer, let's forbid it. We don't want anybody accidentally using it. It's stockpiled so that we can sell it. He's got tattered... Slavrar has some tattered apparel. He has... He's wearing a... Wait. Oh, it's because Savlar... Needs to be changed over here as well, right? So he drops all the, the bad stuff. Okay, let's get a couple of more clothes made, because we don't have any in reserve. The old clothes that are going back, or that are going bad, should just be left outside to rot. We can sell them to... We never get caravans. It's crazy, isn't it? We never get any. Got some cargo pods. Ah, with some plasteel. That's pretty nice. How are we doing for, like, blocks and stuff, too? Do we have lots of blocks? Granite, sandstone, and marble. Nice. It's a mad wild boar approaching. We've got a refugee being chased on Hell on Earth 2.0. It's an artifact hum hunter named Kina. Okay, we'll offer safety. So let's go restrict. Let's get everybody inside. Who's Kina? Who wants to be Kina? We don't know what Kina is capable of yet. Kalo. Alright, Kalo, you got it. Um, what can you do, Kina? What was, her, what was her bio, actually? Good at shooting. Good at construction. Good at art. Good at crafting. Wow! Okay, psychically hypersensitive and depressive, and incapable of social animals, cooking, plant work, and mining. She's an artifact hunter. Wow, that's incredible. Okay, so we can put her on hunting duty, potentially, once she has a, a weapon. We don't need her on hunting duty, though. Construction could be a good one, but let's get her on all this crafting and stuff. Because she's really good at it. With... Uh, she can mainline art and stuff too, right? Construction she can help out with if needed. We got a couple of people who are able to help out with construction, so that's pretty good. Okay, the mad boar is dead. And now we've got uh, this raid coming in too, which is just tribals. Okay, everybody. Beatle stations. Tooth. Rossi. Preach. We need to change this safe zone. Okay, Preach. What the fuck, man? What what in the actual fuck was Creech doing? What? I I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand why he would go out there. For what? He was he was restricted. He's meant to be in the safe zone. What is he doing? Suicidal thoughts. He was depressive. Well, see a creech. Ohem has gut worms, apparently, and Creech has died. Oh, Ohem has gotten gut worms whilst on the road. Does this guy have any chance of surviving? Probably not, right? Man. What a dumb dog. Maybe we're better off without a, a dog as dumb as that. Where's Hinge at? Four hours left to go. I don't think we can save this guy. I want to sell him. I think he's dead. Three hours. He might be okay, actually. Hinge. 
Get on it, baby. Two hours. Oh, yeah, he's not dead. All right, good. So we can either release him or or hang on to him and sell him. He can do crafting and artistic and a bit of melee, but. You're doing great, Dad. Kermraid, what are you missing? You got pants, a button-down shirt, and a parka. I guess he wants a two. Can we can we get wool from the uh, bear, from our polar bear, or not really? Sell, sell, sell. Feed him to the dogs. We could try to sell him. It's minus 14 outside. How warm is it in here? It's like 17 degrees. We got. We could get a couple events set up. So this hallway is 17 degrees. All because of these two things spitting out, um, whatchamacallit, heat over wall vents. And then we want vents up here like this too, right? And then we can have like a vent in here. Is there even a heater set up in there? It's not. It's probably pretty cold in there. Yeah, it's like minus four degrees in there. Holy crap. So we go into hygiene and we can get a radiator set up in here for these guys. With some plumbing. And then we can get some vents and stuff in here too, right? So we're gonna need to get um overwall vents in here too like so like so and then we can have one like that too right spread the warmth around the base a red fox has self-tamed okay we'll butcher him we don't need a red fox right how are we doing for wildlife here oham's caravan has been ambushed by a group of one outlander give him pass refuse and fight they want they want bonkers. All right, Oham. Hide behind this tree. Okay, we won the caravan battle, but we're a little bit injured. We're gonna die in 11 hours, and we got the gut worms as well. How long is it gonna... Oham might die on the way back, to actually, now that we've been injured like this. Because we have no way of um, patching ourselves up, right? We could try to launch a doctor out here to help Oham. 11 hours. I think Oham might die, and we might lose all the stuff. Set him to self-tend. He can't do doctoring. He's incapable of doing doctoring. He can't do doctoring. He can't do this kind of work. So he's just going to die now. Feed him to the hounds. Rest. He's fucking bleeding. What's that gonna do? He's gotta get it. He's gotta make it back. Resting isn't gonna stop the bleeding. Send a doc. That's an F for him. We're out of medicine at the base. I think your days are numbered. Oham is fucked big time. Oh, for fuck's sake. This fucking dude with his revolver I mean god that is garbage so we'll take these package survival meals we'll take his revolver so we're gonna lose all this stuff and we'll take his money as well how long do we have left to, to get here 0 0.4 days He's not going to make it, is he? Oh, ham. Send a caravan to meet him and rescue him. Self-tend P. 
Pindo, I fucking clicked it. It does not work. It fucking didn't work, okay? Thanks anyway, but it does not work. You might just make it if we go now. 0 0.4 days is roughly 11 hours. It's 6 hours. Try and meet him. I don't know if we can meet him. 0 0.3 days. He's got the gut worms as well, doesn't he? Okay, cargo pod's fine. How's Oham's health doing? Severe. Movement is poor and everything else very poor as well. So if we lose a caravan, we're gonna just lose all this stuff. If he can at least get back to the map and die, at least we'll get his shotgun and stuff, right? Send a doctor to meet him. Who are we sending out? Hinge. We're out of medicine. I can't believe we've run out of medicine as well. We can't send a thing out to meet him. We can't click on this other caravan. When you get close enough, they can merge. Is the medical room still locked? No, it's not. Okay, let's see if this guy can make it back. So he's gonna arrive from the... Up here, isn't he? If he even makes it back. Okay, Hinge. He's not gonna have long left to live. I'm hoping that this is where he comes in. Medical emergency on Oham. Oh, he's been knocked down. He fell down. So close to home as well. So close. Go get him. God, I fucking hate this game. Okay, so we're sending Hinge out here with nothing. We're just gonna send him like this. So is he in this square? He fell and he can't get up. How do I, so how do I merge this caravan? I don't have meds. We have none. That's okay. Oham has some meds on him. So we can just do this. Oh, he is going to leave from the south. So Oham might just bleed out and die here now. Oh, Hinge. What the fuck are you doing, man? You're meant to be going on this caravan. Why? What are you doing? Did I not send the right guy? What's it? I didn't send it. What? I fucking totally did. I fucking totally did. Choose root and I, I hit accept. What the fuck? He was, uh, he was at the wrong side of the map anyway, though. Okay. Oh, God. For fuck's sake. Fuck me. We lost all that. Fuck, what a disaster. What a fucking disaster. We lost all that shit. We made all of that shit for nothing. Only for... Uh, a dude with a revolver. Oh, I mean...
God, that is garbage. You love Rimworld. Rimworld. Fuck me. Oh. Randy random, not even once. Ugh, forum, forum gaming, forum through thr gaming. <clears throat> Thanks for the donation, man. I appreciate it. Oh God. <coughs> Fuck me, that sucks. We lost all those marine helmets. We lost the masterwork shotgun because of a dude with the fucking handgun. With. Sniper fucking aim. And Oham unable to do doctoring. Can't even just put a fucking bandage around some some wounds. Just refused to do it. And died. Because even though I accepted the caravan to go, it didn't work. And we wasted a whole bunch of time. Fuck me. Oham was actually pretty good as well. So all these dogs now... Oh wait, we lost the dogs as well, didn't we? We lost all these dogs. Oh my god. Alright. Epico now has a dog as well. End at camp quest. <clears throat> Tech prof sub persona core times two. That's pretty nuts, actually. Erica says that there's an enemy outpost at the site guarded by four enemies. If we succeed, their relations will improve. It's pretty far away. Oh, God, I can't believe this game sometimes. Holy crap, that's crazy. That's absolutely nuts. Okay, we'll just train these dogs for all this crap as well. How's Mittens doing? Mittens has been... is being trained. He's not yet obedient. Still working on it. Slabrar, what's your problem? Who's starving? Slabrar. What the fuck? How does anybody starve in this colony when we've got meals for days here? Stop saying get the stuff, it's destroyed once they die. Yeah. There's not a thing on the map to say that there's anything there. And even if you go to that location, you can't zoom in either, right? Man, Mr. Geppetto, it serves you right. You are fucking retarded. I mean, it... I, there's nothing else that can be said except that you you are retarded it's unbelievable <clears throat> Rob XD you, you guys are all retarded every every colonist here is 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 fucking retarded holy shit how are you guys so bad how is this even possibly happening it's just crazy it's just crazy what the fuck are you guys even thinking why is i mean fuck me why do you have to okay hinge you got to come out and help these guys everybody else back in coxian's just gonna die now as well this is unbelievable two mad elks All right, Hinge, get out here and rescue Coxie, and I guess as well, who's in no immediate danger of dying, thankfully. But Jesus Christ, Mr. Geppetto, I'm tempted to just leave you bleed out. That was just the worst. I mean, fuck these guys are so stupid. 
Is there a mod where, like, when uh, something happens, you can just automatically put them into a restricted area and then just not, like, go off and just do stupid stuff? <clears throat> Rat 1 is back? Better fucking not be. Oh my god, Rat 1 is back. Rat 1 is back and he's occupying valuable real estate here as well. Take that, Rat 1. Get out of that bed. It's not yours. There's a mod that lets other colonists calm people down most of the time. It's very useful. It's crazy, right? <clears throat> you gotta wonder sometimes if, like, lots of mods is a good or a bad thing. What does it say about the game where it has to be modded to that extent? You know what I mean? Especially, like, the quality of life stuff. There are lots of quality of life mods where you just think, why wasn't you know, this stuff just put into the original game. There's a lot of stuff that just seems dumb and broken. Maybe it's just me though. Alright, let's get some of these statues installed here for these rooms. Add a Call of Cthulhu mod. Get eaten by werewolves. How long has it been out now? A long time. It has been out for a long time. Um, we want to make some more um, sculptures, but I think that we have some more sculptures coming out. Coming up. It's just taking all. I can't believe Ohem is dead. Christ, that's crazy. Mr. Geppetto, I don't even think has been 10. Oh yeah, he has been. Okay. The Coxian almost died as well. It feels like it's just not at all safe outside of the walls. Like, and it's not even the the... It's, it's not even the, the sort of, like, um, traditional threats. It's anything. Like, these guys are so bad that, like, if a squirrel goes mad, one of them will probably die. To a squirrel. I mean, come on. It's crazy. A squirrel. You gotta be joking. Right? You gotta be joking. Okay, let's move some of this stuff in here. Go juice production as well. Okay, good. We got all these chairs and stuff that we can move in here too for these boys. Get all their chairs installed. Okay, good. So we want to copy the settings from this, and then we want to put a stockpile zone. And then we want to paste the settings here, and then we can remove this one, right? Those stone chunks in the lobby will be killing the moods. Yeah, no, we're moving it all now. We'll move it in here. Okay, and then miss, we'll have a tool cabinet. Here and here. Perfect. Wow, this is a nice a nice little crafting room, isn't it? Okay, and then we'll have in here also some radiators to keep it nice and warm in here for them. With some wooden plumbing. Okay, there's a bulk goods trader overhead. Um, so let's put this in here too. I didn't even look to see. This is a poor one. It's probably not even worth having. So we'll probably pack this one up and sell it. Bulk goods trader. How's this guy doing? We'll start reducing his resistance. We might just sell him, though. We'll see. Advanced research table. Yes, we're going to make an advanced research table. We're going to do it. Don't worry. We're all over it. Okay, tool cabinets. 
It's a bit roomier in here now, too. Let's get all this stuff hauled over here. Get some heat up in here as well. We have some dromedaries that have joined. So, is it going to be too cold here for these guys? And also, um, I think we just want polar bears now, right? We're just going to slaughter them. We don't need them. We don't need to hang on to them. Okay, so the comms console we can move out of here as well, this foyer, right? This bulk goods trader we want to actually trade with. Alright, so... Oh, they want to they wanna buy them actually. Okay, cool. We'll just sell them instead of slaughtering them. We might as well, right? For 404 bucks. Um, we've got a whole bunch of uh, leather and stuff here that we can sell too. Bear skin, wolf skin, panther fur. Plain leather we'll hang on to. So we'll use it to craft stuff and then we'll get a whole bunch more. Fox fur we'll hang on to as well. Uh, we'll sell this go juice as well and uh can we sell this beer too yeah okay good uh cloth pants normal we'll sell them because they're like uh, a bit worse devil strand bed roll we'll hang on to just in case so we got some money this is good actually so we'll use this money we'll start saving up some money so that we can buy uh some better stuff right some better gear for our hunters and whatnot. Rossi can just go out here and, and hunt up a storm. Sell the poor sculpture. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, I should probably do that, right? It's packed up. Where's the poor sculpture? For 108 bucks. Okay, yeah, nice. Okay, good. And now we just got to get all this stuff hauled over to this new area. Alright, good. Let's get all these chunks out of here. We got some more chunks to bring in here too. All this stuff can be smelted down. We can make some more bricks and stuff. They're restricted to the base. Oh, yeah, you're right, they are. Hey, we got a pirate merchant here as well. Um, and they will buy Caton for 265 bucks. Let's do it. They'll also buy mittens from us too. And we can buy a normal chain shotgun since we lost ours for 499 bucks. 234 and then we got all that money outside okay. We lost not only a normal chain shotgun, but a masterwork one too. Epico and Joey uh, have broken up Nice So who have we lost we lost two people today didn't we so far And one of them we can't recover their body. They're just gone forever It's Coxian's fault the caravan didn't make it. Oh, fuck me. That caravan was... I almost uninstalled the game after that caravan fiasco. Fuck me, it was bad. Okay, production. We want to make a um, high-tech research bench. I don't know if we want to put it in here, actually. Maybe we leave this for crafting. And then we can make a, like a, a better research room down here. So we can like expand this out a little bit. Since there, since it's already like set up in here anyway, right? So we go granite wall. So we're gonna have to dig up Jimmy because he's in the way. <laughs> Just another. An just just another inconvenience caused by Jimmy. The worst. Move the door. What door? The door into the base, you mean? Yeah, we'll move it pretty soon. 
Hinge is no longer inspired with creativity. Sad times. Okay, we should have a whole bunch of medicine coming up in a minute. We could do with another growing zone, I think. We could build it no problem. Alright, good. What time is it? 11.30? Oh my god, the amount of salt that this game has generated within me is uh, is unbelievable. It's it's unbelievable. It's unparalleled. I, it's, holy shit. It's, oh, it's actually overwhelming. I feel like I'm going to cry. I don't think I've ever been so angry in my life at anything. Ugh. I'm still out there, yeah. The fact the fact that without Coxie in this colony wouldn't still be going is amazing to me, yeah. Time to play cities. I was literally red, I know. I know. I was um I was about to break down and cry, honestly. It was that bad. I love the dedication that all the hospital patients come rushing out. It's really nice. Alright, Hinge. We're gonna get you set up a little bit better in here. We're gonna go for a bit of a better setup. If we can. Panoxicillin, nice. How's this wildlife going out here? Okay, there's no threats, so that's good. We still haven't brought these mechs in to disassemble. And that's because we need a um, machining table, don't we? Which means that we're gonna need to make a plain leather armchair here for this too. This is good though. He's having a break. Terry is starving. We don't have anybody making kibble, I don't think. Coxian is recovering still. Kibble is made. Let's drop it on the ground as well. Alright. Terry should be fine now then. 